Good morning, everyone. Today we're going to go over uh, identifying points on a graph. So we're going to look at this coordinate graph and we're going to identify the parts that we need so that way uh, we are understanding what to do. All right, so let's see. Hold on, my screen is giving me some trouble. Resume. Okay, let's do that again. Share. Okay, I think we're good. All right, so the first thing we should probably do is label. Remember in the previous video, I stated that if we draw a C, that tells us the order in which we should label our coordinate graph. So this is quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, and quadrant four, okay? Remember, there's certain quick characteristics for each quadrant. If I am going to the right, I am positive. If I'm going to the left, I am negative. If I'm going up, I'm positive. If I'm going down, I'm negative. Okay? Now, quadrant one, I have a positive x and a positive y. Y. Quadrant two, I have a negative x and a positive y. Quadrant three, I have a negative x and a negative y. And quadrant four, I have a positive x and a negative y. Remember, knowing the characteristics helps me um, figure out if I am in the right part of my coordinate graph when I am plotting my points, okay? All right, now that I have successfully labeled my coordinate grid, I'm gonna look at the first set of um, problems. So these first four problems, they give me an ordered pair, okay? Remember, when you have an X and a Y, that is called an ordered pair, okay? So if you notice, my first ordered pair, I have a negative three and a positive four. Well, if I look at the characteristics, I can narrow down where I should be. Which quadrant has a negative X and a positive Y? Good job, quadrant two. So I know that one of these letters should be my answer, okay? So that helps me know which direction I should be going in. So it says I have a negative three, so I'm gonna start at my origin. Remember your origin is zero, zero. And I always start with X, left or right. So since I'm negative, I'm gonna to go to the left and it says I'm negative three. One, two, three. Then it says my Y is positive four. So I'm gonna go up. One, two, three, four. So the letter I arrive at is K. Okay. Notice that by identifying which quadrant I should be in, I knew that I should find one of these letters as my answer. Let's look at number two. My characteristics of my X and Y say that they're both negative. I have a negative four and a negative three. Which quadrant has X and Y as negative? Good job, quadrant three. So I know that one of these letters should be my answer. So if I start with X, negative four, so it means I'm going to the left first. One, two, three, four. Then it says negative three for my Y. So I'm going down. One, two, three. So the letter I arrive at is F. Again, by identifying the characteristics of my ordered pair, I knew that I should be in this quadrant to find my answer. And that's what I did. Number three, the characteristics of my X and Y. I have a positive X and a negative Y. Which quadrant should I be looking for my answer in? Positive X and a negative Y. Good job, quadrant four. So my answer should be one of these. So let's see. 
it says that my x is positive 3, so that means I'm going to go to the right, starting at my origin. 1, 2, 3. And then it says I have a negative 1 as my y, so that means I'm going down. So 1. The letter I arrived at is E. Okay. The last ordered pair, I have a positive x and a positive y. So if I look positive, positive, good job. That means I should be in quadrant one. So one of these letters should be of my answer. So my x is zero. So that means I don't go left and I don't go right because my x is zero, so I don't move. But it says my y is one, a positive one. So that means I go up, one. So the letter that I arrived at is H. Okay, identifying points on a graph. All right, now let's look at the next set. They don't give us any ordered pairs. They give us the letters. So they want us, oh no, my lights went out. They want us to identify what the ordered pair is for each of these letters. So let us go ahead and do that. So number five says C. Let's look to see where C is. Hmm, C is over here in quadrant two. Now, before I even start counting, I see that the characteristics of quadrant two is a negative X and a positive Y. So that helps me. So let's see how we get there. I'm starting at the origin. I have to go to the left. One, two, three, four. So negative four. Then I have to go up. One. So positive one. So the ordered pair for C is negative four for the X and a positive one for the Y. Notice that the characteristic matches what I have right here a negative x and a positive y. All right, number six, they want us to find the letter L. So let's see what quadrant L is in. All right, quadrant one. So the characteristics of quadrant one say that I have a positive x and a positive y. So let's count. We start at the origin and we're gonna to go to the right. One, two, three. So I have a positive three for my x and then I go up, one, two. So I have a positive two as my y. So the ordered pair for L is positive three, positive two, which matches the characteristics that I have here. All right, letter D, what quadrant is that in? Good job, quadrant one. So again, I should have a positive x and a positive y. So I'm gonna start at the origin. I go to the right, one. And then I go up, one, two, three, four, five. So my ordered pair for D is positive one, positive five. The next letter is A. Good job, quadrant four. The characteristics is a positive X and a negative Y. So let's count. We're gonna to go to the right, one. Then we're gonna go down, one, two, three, four, five. So negative five. So my X is positive, my Y is negative. So my characteristics match. Almost done. Letter G. Good job, quadrant two. So I should have a negative X and a positive Y. So let's start at the origin. I'm gonna to go to the left. One, two. So my X is negative two. Then I'm going to go up. One, two. So my Y is a positive two. And then finally, letter I. Hmm, letter I is kind of in the middle. Does it belong to quadrant three or does it belong to quadrant four? 
Okay, well, let's count. Do I go left? Nope. Do I go right? No. I don't move anywhere on the x-axis. So that means my x is going to be zero. Okay. I do have to go down though. One, two. So I am a negative two. So this doesn't belong to any quadrant because remember, zero is neither negative nor positive. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is how to identify points on a coordinate graph. Remember, labeling your coordinate grid is always a good idea before you start answering questions. It will save you a lot of heartache. All right, guys, you're gonna go ahead and get started on your practice for today. If you have any questions, please email me and I'll be happy to uh, help you. All right, guys, have a good day.